Hello and welcome to our continued coverage of the 2022 presidential election. I'm Daniel Che, here with the latest. Bella County for South Korea's 20th presidential election has been ongoing for a while now, and the final result is slowly taking shape. Our reporter Um Ji-young is out at one of the counting stations in Seoul. Ji-young, what can you tell us at this point? Daniel, I'm out at Seoul National University Gymnasium, which is one of the venues where the ballots are uh, being counted. And behind me are some hundreds of staff and volunteers who are busy processing the ballots, and they've been doing this for several hours after the close of the polling stations. This is what you would see at most of the counting stations across South Korea. When the voting boxes arrive, they're opened and ballots are poured onto the table. Then staff organize ballots and then put them through the counting machines where they're identified as valid and invalid. After that, staff check the ballots that are identified as invalid. The ballot counting area behind me is under strict control. All staff are wearing protective masks against COVID-19 and only vote counting workers can enter the counting area. Police workers nationwide are on full standby at counting stations to ensure safe and accurate proceedings. In fact, the police deployed nearly 70,000 personnel to provide security for any possible situation on election day. The police also delivered the ballot boxes to the counting stations in their constituencies. In total, there are 251 centers nationwide counting the ballots tonight. The National Election Commission says it'll do its utmost to manage the election throughout. The National Election Commission has been devoted in its preparations for the election so that voters can exercise their right of suffrage without any difficulties. We will do our best until the polling and counting ends. Jim, the ballot counting will end in a few hours' time, so do tell us what the results are looking like right now. Daniel, we still have a couple of hours left until we see all the ballots tallied up. But as of 1.45 a.m., nearly 80 percent of the votes have been counted. And um, South Korea could be waking up to the results at about 6 a.m. on Thursday when the ballot counting comes to the end. But the National Election Commission is providing live updates online. Ruling Democratic Party candidate Lee Jae-myung and main opposition People Power Party candidate Yoon song yeol have been neck and neck throughout. But as of 1.45 a.m., Yoon has been winning by 0.95%. Um, in the previous presidential election, it took nearly six hours until the ballot count was completed, but it could take longer this time. That's because early voting in this election had the highest ever voter turnout at roughly 37 percent. For the early voting ballots, there are in envelopes which need to be opened before they can be counted, so it could take longer. Also, the ballots cast by COVID-19 patients and those in quarantine are counted separately. So a little bit of patience is required as we go and um, waiting for those official results. This is all I have for now, but I'll bring more updates in our later newscast. Back to you, Daniel. All right, Jiang, thank you for those updates. Moving on, let's check in with our campaign correspondents. Where's Kim do Yun with the ruling Democratic Party's nominee? What are you hearing from inside the Lee Jae-myung camp? Daniel, I'm at the campaign headquarters of the ruling Democratic Party of Korea, where the campaign officials are closely monitoring the, the vote count unfold. Now, it is an, a bit tense atmosphere with the vote count coming, to, co coming close to an end and with the main opposition people, our party's candidate in the lead uh, since about an hour and a half ago. Many of key campaign officials are come, heading uh, their way, making their way back into this headquarters to watch together. It seems like the camp is really trying to watch this one out to the last minute without losing hope. With that, a winner may be called soon. And you can see that the media right now is really closely monitoring the officials um, and trying to catch their moment when the winner is called. Um, as for the candidate himself, Lee Jae-myung is currently at home, but with the results now kind of uh, results expected to come out soon, uh, maybe he will make his move on to here. Daniel? Now to our Lee kyung who has been following the People Power Party's campaign. kyung what's the atmosphere there like and how about the candidate himself, Yoon Sung-yeon? 
But Daniel, the party members and leaders are cautiously waiting for the final votes to be counted. Well, things are pretty calm here, but I think I'm going to have to say that's more of um, silent excitement that we are feeling because we know that last few hours here have been quite dramatic because since ballot counting began, things started to be more favorable for Lee Jae-myung. But just a couple of hours ago, Yoon turned the tide in his favor. And now Yoon managed to widen the gap by one percentage point and that may seem like a small number but it could be all that is needed to win this neck and neck race. The party is hoping this trend will continue and that Yoon can actually finish the election as the winner. Um, all throughout the day Yoon sung yeol has been staying at home and we're learning that Yoon could be coming here as the results start to show a clearer picture and if his victory can be called. And if that happens he's going to address his party and the reporters and then head to the party's head quarters right next to where we are at the National Assembly. Daniel. All right, Toyeon Kyungun, thank you so much for being out there for us. It's a long day and we appreciate you being out there to give us the updates that we need. It's just a very close neck and neck race between the two giants. Now let's go over to our Yoon Jung Min for the latest figures on voting results. Jung Min, do fill us in. Sure, Daniel. So we are seeing more election results coming in so far. A 74% of the vote is counted, and the main opposition, People Power Party's Yoon Song Yeol, is leading the ruling Democratic Party's Lee Jae Myung by a margin of 48.6% to 47.8%. For the first time since counting, the leading candidate has changed. Now we go region by region. The first, capital Seoul. Uh, Yoon Song Yeol is leading Lee Jae Myung by a margin of 50% to 46. Next to Busan, South Korea's second largest city. Yoon Song Yeol is taking the lead here with a 58%. Lee Jae Myung with 38%. Next to Daegu. In this region, Yoon Song Yeol is outperforming Lee Jae Myung by a margin of 75 to 21. Next to Incheon. In this region, it's neck and neck. Lee Jae Myung 48.9. Yoon Song Yeol 47.1. Next to Gwangju, uh, the liberal uh, stronghold, Lee Jae Myung is taking a clear lead with 85%, followed by Yoon Song Yeol of 12%. Next to Daejeon. In this region, Yoon Song Yeol is taking the lead 49.5%, followed by Lee Jae Myung of 46.6%. Next to Ulsan, the conservative stronghold, Yoon Song Yeol is in the lead with 55%, followed by Lee Jae Myung of 40%. Next to Sejong. In this region, Lee Jae Myung is taking the lead 52%, Yoon Song Yeol 43.6%. Next to Gyeonggi-do province, Lee Jae Myung is taking the lead with 50%, and Yoon Song Yeol has earned 46.2%. Next to Gangwon-do province, here Yoon Song Yeol is taking the lead here of 54.5%, and Lee Jae Myung has earned 41.5%. Next to Chungcheong, Bukdo province in this region, Yoon Song Yeol is outperforming Lee Jae Myung by a margin of 51% to almost 45%. Next to Chungcheong, Namdo province in this region, uh, Yoon Song Yeol is also leading here with 51 and Lee Jae Myung 50, uh, 45. Next to Jeollabukdo province, a liberal stronghold, Lee Jae Myung is, is taking a clear lead here with 83%, followed by Yoon Song Yeol of 14%. Next to Jeolla Namdo province, who's leading here, uh, Lee Jae Myung, uh, 86.6, Yoon Song Yeol, 10.9. Next to Gyeongsangbukdo province, uh, conservative stronghold, Yoon Song Yeol is taking a clear lead here. As you can see, it's a 73 versus 23.5%. Next to Gyeongsang Namdo province in this region, Yoon Song Yeol is ahead 60%, followed by Lee Jae Myung of 35%. And last but not least, Jeju. In this region, Lee Jae Myung has earned a 52% and Yoon Song Yeol has gained 43.3%. That's all from me at this hour. Back to you, Daniel. Thank you for those updates, Myung. Uh, we appreciate it. Now, moving on to a different story. Now, the first presidential election during the pandemic has uh, during the pandemic has wrapped up, marking a record voter turnout of over 77%. In fact, the people were allowed to vote as well. Our Kim Yoon Sung went out to a polling station to witness the full process. The 20th presidential election has drawn to a close. That means that there's no more campaigning and no more ballots to cast. Now it's just a waiting game for the people of South Korea and the presidential hopefuls. 
14,464 polling stations opened for the final day of voting from 6 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. And one of them is here, the third polling station in Pyeongchangdong in Seoul's Cheongnogu district. This district is right at the center of South Korean politics and has been a key battleground for many politicians. And Wednesday has been a monumental day in Cheongnogu political history as the district held two elections, the presidential election and a local by-election. I feel like the by-election has a more direct impact on me rather than the presidential election. I also feel close to the by-election candidates because it's someone who I've been following for a long time. My heart feels full and I think this is a historical moment. I hope my vote can help the country and if the candidate I support becomes elected, I really hope that person doesn't lose his way. I really hope the 20th president unites both parties and doesn't tear people apart. During the last five years, polarization has become serious. There has been a lot of anxiety over economy and security. People's hope showed through early voting and I expect more people to vote today. They weren't the only ones enthusiastic about this presidential race. For this presidential election, voter turnout marked 77.1 percent, a strong figure and one similar to the turnout seen during the last presidential election. Voting ended at 6 p.m. for regular voters. The last hour and a half was reserved for the estimated 880,000 voters who were infected with COVID-19 or who are self-isolating. By 6 o'clock, the supervisors here had all changed into protective gear, and they made sure to separate regular voters, those with COVID-19, and those who are self-isolating. This is the third time South Korea has carried out an election during a pandemic, but the first time that COVID-19 patients were able to vote on the same day and at the same place as the other voters. Kim Hyun-sun, Arirang News. That's all from us for now, but we'll be back with more at 4 a.m. Korea time. Thank you for watching.